Today I'm going to show you how to make some napkin rings that you can use all winter long. These are snowmen and uh, I'm going to show you how to do four different types. So you will notice that my snowmen, if you, you know to pay attention to details, are a little bit different with the eyes. Um, these two snowmen I've had for years and that's how well that they've, um, if you store them fine, this is how long they've lasted. I only made a few when I made these and so I wanted to add to my collection so I had enough to serve, you know, like 10 people when I have company. Um, so these were the smallest brads that I could find, but uh, if I had a choice, I would definitely go a little bit smaller than the ones that I'm going to show you to use. But if you had never seen these, I think these turned out just as cute. So to get started, what you need is a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, um, whatever you can find. Um, you're going to need scrap uh, papers. Um, I used a, a glitter paper. I used just a black paper. Just whatever you have in scraps, that's what I use um, to do my additional snowmen. I used some pom-poms. I had some gems left over. Um, for the girls, I did flower punches, but you can pretty much do anything that you want, just whatever you have scraps of. I had these snowflakes, so I used these for the boys. Um, and then the one thing you're gonna need are the brads. So the brads that I was able to find, I found in Michael's, and these were the smallest ones that they had. Um, I use all black for mine. If you can't find black, you can paint them. I have done that before where I I was only able to find white or red or silver and I've painted them black. So you can do that as well. Some uh, fabric for their nose. Um, and then all you need in the as far as tools go is uh, white paper for the base of the snowman and then a pencil, scissors, a ruler, and you definitely will need a hole punch because the brads do have a pointy end, but to get through the cardboard and the paper is just too hard. So I use a hole punch before I put my brads through. And then a glue stick and some tacky glue. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna measure how long you want your napkin ring to be. It, it doesn't have to be any specific um, length, only you want it long enough that the face will go on it and look cute. So mine's probably about, I've never even measured it, probably about um, an inch and a half to two inches would be good, probably an inch and a half works. And so then once you um, measure it out, so if you want them all to be the same, you want to use your ruler and you want to measure out, you know, an inch and a half or a little bit over an inch and a half and mark that with the pencil. Then what I do is just one time only is I kind of fold it so I get an even flat cut and you just want to cut them like so. And that one fold isn't going to damage your ring. Um, you just push it back out and it works. So you want to do all your cutting and once you cut them then you'll have a whole bunch of rings to work with and then the next thing you want to do is take your ring and you want to mark your paper um and i use the the actual ring that i'm going to cover and i just mark in pencil um, keeping it at the edge of the paper and then marking the other edge and just make like three marks along your paper and then this is where your ruler comes in handy. So you're going to take your three marks and you're going to line them up with your ruler and you're going to draw a straight line and then you're going to cut that out with your scissors so you have a strip of paper and that's what's going to cover the toilet paper ring. So the next step is take your glue stick and just rub your glue stick on the ring, covering it all the way around. And then you're gonna wrap it with the piece of paper that you just cut to fit it. 
So you just want to start at one end and just smooth it out and wrap it around and then just smooth it along so there's no creases. And then you'll notice this is a lot extra. Once I glue it, then I cut and that tab, I just run some glue across the end and then glue it to the paper. So just smooth it out, smooth any creases that you see. Make sure it's secure. So now the next thing I do is take a pencil. I make sure that my seam is at the back. I'm gonna work in the front and I just make marks of where I wanna punch the mouth and the eyes. And you wanna spread apart pretty good amount. Um, and I do this one at the bottom and then these up a little bit. And so like that one, I wanna move it over a little bit. And line these up so that they're the same. And then you're gonna move over to your top one. So you're gonna put five holes for the mouth, like so. And then you want your eyes up a pretty good amount because you wanna allow for your carrot nose. And you want, I like my eyes kind of close together, but that's a preference that you'll have and line them up so that they're evenly across. So just take a look at it, make sure it's what you like. If it's not, then erase the dot and move it. And then you're gonna take your hole punch and you're going to punch the holes out. And that's where your brads are gonna go. Now, I just uh, drew stencils myself for the hats. Um, so whichever hat you do for this, it's just a rectangle. And then I added an extra, uh, square onto it, an extra rectangle this way. So it overlaps. So it looks like a hat and I put a piece on here. So that's one, two, three pieces of paper on the bottom. And then your flower is two pieces in a gem. So you just glue them together. So I made the stencils for my little boy and little girl. So for the girl, it's just this triangle hat. And then I added an extra piece at the bottom. And then for the boy, it's the little cap with the extra piece at the bottom and then a pom-pom. So I went ahead and cut them out and I like to overlap my rectangle from the actual hat so it looks like it's you know rolled over and then all you're going to do is take your glue stick and you're just going to run uh, some glue along the bottom and then just add your hat and then that's how it should look in the back so it's you don't glue it down to the bottom for this you just glue like that and then you're going to add your um, whatever gems or whatever things I decided to do these little snowflakes. So I'm going to take the tacky glue and just do three little dots of glue. And then I'm just going to add the snowflakes like so. And you can add these before or after. Sometimes it's easier to add them after. Um, so for this, I'm just doing a cluster of snowflakes on the corner. The pom-pom for the boy I am adding after I finish it because I'll show you why. So here I have one done. And what I do is I just bend it. it the thicker the paper, the more you're going to have to play with it before you put it on to create a curve. For example, the, the girl's hat is the triangle and then the pink over it and the little pom-pom at the top. But you'll notice that this is really tough, thick cardboard. So if you're not a really big crafter, I would recommend sticking with paper, a lighter paper, where if you are more comfortable with the thicker, what you have to do is just play with it and curve it so that it creates the curve of the hat. So you want it curved before you try to glue it on or it won't stay very well. So I just play with it and curve it until it gets the shape of 
her head. Okay, so for this one, I've already done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue him on. So I'm just gonna run the, and for this, I'm using the tacky glue because it's a little bit uh, tougher glue, so it'll stick better. And so you also wanna be aware that the thinner your paper is, the tacky glue has a tendency to um, ripple it. So for the band, you may wanna use just a little bit thicker than for the hat itself. And if you have a real thick paper, you don't have to worry about it as much. So you just wanna hold it there until it um, dries. Okay, so then you wanna take your brads and all you're gonna do is just poke them through the hole and then you wanna go in the back and open them up like so. And you just wanna do this with each one. You just put them through, it's very easy and open it up as wide as you can so it's nice and tight against the paper. So just cut a little triangle out for their nose and I use again the tacky glue because it's a stronger glue and just put a little dot and put it right in the center. And you're not gluing the whole thing, you're just gluing right here. This part will just stick out. And then for the pom-pom, I have discovered I like it on top as opposed to in the front. So again, I'm gonna use a little tacky glue and I'm just gonna stick it right on top and pinch it. So just to show you, that's if you're working with the really hard cardboard, this is what you want. And then again, you're gonna use your tacky glue to just run a strip of glue. And for this, you may have to hold it a little bit longer um, on there until it adheres, but it will. So when you're ready to use them, you just uh, fold your napkin and push it through. And I was very surprised. I was worried about using the brads, thinking it would catch material. But I, I said I've been using these for years and I've never had an issue. So... Um, I've really been happy and everybody that comes over just says how cute they are on the table. So if this is your first time watching, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.